Holy shit, man! Holy shit! Hold on, I'm coming! Dude, I think these guys want to eat us! You okay? One of those psychos tried to bite me, but yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Well, we can't just stay out here in the open, that's for damn sure. Ranger station? Ranger station. Maybe we can find some help there. What the hell, man? We've gone two weeks and what? Everybody gonna be Bees me. Hold up. Shit, these guys look messed up too. Yeah. Stay low and keep quiet. Maybe we can get past them without being spotted. Maybe later. Man, can anybody tell me what the hell is going on? What's going on is there's more of them up here than I expected. We need to sweep the rest of the cabins for survivors. But I've got injured people here I have to tend to. Okay, we'll see what we can do. We will? I appreciate it. There's a water tower out back that has a good view of the campgrounds. Might be worth your while to climb up there and have a look around first. We've got some supplies in the locker over there. Take what you need. And stay safe out there. I don't know, man. Whole situation is pretty messed up. That's not a bad idea, actually. We need to make things safer around here. Not now. I'm not alone in here.
day went downhill fast. No shit. Any chance we can just hole up here with the last of the tequila until this all blows over? Somehow I doubt it. Yeah. Me too. Okay, I think that's about all there is to find. Right, let's get the hell back to the ranger station and get out of here. You hear that? Here they come! Holy shit, are you okay? You mean aside from being lost in the woods, attacked by psychopaths, and watching two of my best friends die? Yeah, I'm Peachy. Sorry I asked. So, is it this bad everywhere? Man, I hope not. We got some survivors back at the ranger station that seem to know what's going on. But we didn't have time for orientation. Well then, let's get the hell back there. You wanna take point, or should I? Where'd you come from, anyways? Me and a couple guys from the unit came out there to do some deer hunting. Are you in the army? You don't miss much deer. What happened? What the hell? I thought you said you had survivors holed up in here. They were fine just a minute ago. Well, obviously not anymore. Guys, guys, come on. We gotta at least check the place. Somebody might have survived. <sighs> He's gone. Yeah. Poor bastard. Well, let's see if he's got a wallet on him or something. What the hell, Ed? To check his ID, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Shit! Get it off! Get it off! Get it off! Help! <laughs> 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 
That guy was dead. I swear to God, that guy, he was dead. How the hell does that happen? I don't know, man. It doesn't make sense. We can't stay here. Come on, let's grab what we can and get moving. I don't know. I guess we just head to town and try to find somebody. Yeah. Well, I kind of took that guy's walkie-talkie. Maybe we can raise somebody on that. Jesus, Ed, why did you do that? So you robbed a day. Maybe they didn't even really like the guy. Dad? Dad, are you there? Uh, hello? Can you hear me? Who is this? Listen, we're stuck up here on Mount Tanner. My friend needs medical attention. Can you help us? Can you make it down to Spencer's Mill? Some of us are holed up at the church. If your friend doesn't look too dicey, we'll let you in. The church in Spencer's Mill. We're on our way. We'll, uh, try not to look too dicey? So much for getting across here. Great, so we're stuck up here playing cannibal family picnic until somebody bothers to come looking for us? Maybe not. Let's head down the bank. Might be a place for us to cross on foot. Better deal with this first. We're headed your way. You said you were holed up in a church? What the hell's happening around here? You haven't heard? No cell reception at the lake. Guess you could say we've been out of the loop. All we know is a bunch of crazy people tried to eat us. It started, what, 12, 13 days ago? At first it was just weird stories on the news. Random maulings, violent incidents at hospitals, black helicopters in the sky, just strange stuff. I guess they were trying to keep it quiet, but that didn't last too long. People figured it out pretty quick. People who die, they don't stay dead. They come back as one of those things. I told you that guy was dead. Seems like the only way to stop them for good is with a shot to the head. Anything else, they just keep coming. So you're saying those things are Zombies? I don't know. Maybe it's some kind of messed up super virus. Maybe it's radiation from outer space. Or black magic. Or or the wrath of almighty frickin' God. Your guess is as good as mine. So, wait a minute. What's the government response to all this? Haven't they sent in the National Guard or something? The government? You don't get it. It's been total chaos. So, how'd you end up on this frequency? Just lucky, I guess. It was pretty chaotic up at the lake. You're not gonna tell her? I don't know yet. Dude, it's her dad. 
you want to confess that we killed her father and stole his radio before they patch you up? Yeah, okay, maybe, maybe we leave that part out. Lily, do you invite these strangers? Good, you made it. That one doesn't look so good. Name's Ed. Pleased to meet you. Come with me, son. We'll see to those. God people. damn it! We got enough trouble without bringing in another freeloader to use up all our medicine. Real nice, Alan. I offered them shelter. I'm letting them in. Us freeloaders have to stick together. Girl's got the common sense God gave a tree stump. You're worse than your brother. Come on. I'll give you the nickel tour. I spend most of my time here, using the radio to coordinate everyone. Next up's the kitchen. Sam's our unofficial in-house chef, but... Well, there's only so much anybody can do with canned soup and pork rinds. Seriously, though. Rule number one, all the food stays in here and it stays sealed. You wouldn't believe how fast rats get into things otherwise. We learned that one the hard way. Sleeping quarters? Uh, hope you don't mind sharing. We're pretty tight on space here. Alan's been saying we should move to someplace bigger, but my dad's a carpenter, and he says we could build like a dorm room or something to get more space. How many people do you have here? I think you've met just about everybody, except maybe my brother and my dad. They're out scouting for supplies, I think, and I haven't heard from them in a while. Like somebody took a weed whack in my fucking neck. We may have something here for the pain, but... Could be a sign of infection. We'll need to get Dr. Hansen out. I'll see if I can get him on the radio. Thanks, I, uh, I appreciate the hospitality. Do not forget to entertain strangers, for by so doing, some have unwittingly entertained angels. How about that? I might be an angel. God bless. God bless. God bless. How's it going? Hey! Look, I, I didn't want to say this in front of your friend, but fever is a bad sign, especially after a bite. Pastor Will's going to try and get Doc Hansen to come down and take a look at him, but if he doesn't get some antibiotics, he's probably not going to make it. If it comes to that, I promise Alan will take care of him. Bullet to the brain before he turns. It's for the best. Jesus, Lily, he's not a rabid dog. Don't you get it? More of us didn't make it than did. We can't be soft-hearted about this. Not anymore. We need medicine here anyway. You can't be sick. You understand? No one can be sick. So that's it, huh? Nice to meet you. Would you prefer to be shot in the face or kicked out on your asses? No, it's... Okay, look. We're barely hanging on here as it is. Medicine was some of the first stuff to run out. We don't have any to spare for your friend. I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. What if I find some more? Will that help pay our rent? <sighs> yeah. Okay, sure. If you can find a place to get more medicine, I'll make sure your friend has a place to stay. His name is Ed. I know. If you need to resupply before you head out, check the locker. Nobody minds if you're getting shit done and you need extra stuff. Just don't take shit you haven't earned. Here. Wait, what? There's a cell tower behind the swine and bovine. 
From up there, you should be able to get a good look at the town. Maybe you'll spot some place to find medicine. I owe you one. Just hurry, okay? I'm not sure how long I can rain Alan in. How did you all end up at the church anyway? Geez, I don't know. At first it just seemed like the place to go, you know? End of the world and all that. Then we started hearing about how bad it was getting. Other people tried to go it alone and ended up... Well, we just sort of stayed here after that. Just the six of you? No. There used to be twelve of us. I think I can get a decent view from up there. Damn, I'm tired. I'm there. Gonna take a look around. Hey, I think that place is inhabited. Gotcha. I see something. Looks like an infestation. Got a horde over here. Mm-hmm. Hey, what's that? Looks like a vet's office or something. Oh yeah, Dr. Gilroy's clinic. What about it? Well, antibiotics for dogs aren't any different than antibiotics for people, and it looks like no one's broken in. <laughs> That's a good idea. Okay, sounds like it's worth checking out. Hang on. I've got a transmission coming in, I think. We've had enough of being on our own. We'd love to join you if you let us. You might want to go check it out. I'm sending Alan and Sam to meet you at the clinic. Alan? Gee, thanks. It was that, or let him stay here and keep grumbling about kicking you and Ed out. Point. Do me a favor and don't come driving up like a dumbass. What Alan's trying to say is cars make noise. Zeds like noise. Plus, they don't exactly go on trees, and we only got so much fuel to keep them running. So we gotta be careful about that. What did I say? No cars. 
About time you showed up. Let's get this show on the road. You're the newbie, so you get a bust in the window. The door will make less noise. Or, hey, you could do it like a total fucking idiot. Up to you. Just get us inside. Try to keep the zombies outside, huh? How about years of experience on the beat, huh? How's that grab you? I didn't realize the Department of Fish and Wildlife handled the beat. Laugh if you want. I'm still the only law enforcement officer on duty in this town. Yeah, and if we gotta deal with any zombie trout, you'll be the first motherfucker I call. Goddamn mother... Shit. What's wrong? So tape it shut and keep loading. Clear off the inside! We got Zeds at nine o'clock. Let's hoof it, people. Stay low and stay quiet. Bad enough, we gotta make this charity run. Let's not waste all our damn ammo to boot.
I'll go find us a ride. Shithead, but look on the bright side. He's only about half as stupid as he looks. Plus, he's not half bad in a fight. Thanks for the ride. We'll take it from here. We got your cycle for phosphamide, Lily. I didn't see any of that meth or whatever. Hey, you said we were getting antibiotics for Ed. Relax. We got those too. What the hell is going on here? Okay, okay, look. I've got this condition, lupus. It's chronic. No cure. Without medication, your friend needs antibiotics. I need medicine, so I kind of sent you to a place you might find both. So, you used me. I didn't... Just let me know when you find the doc. 